Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is uh, time for high school to get out, so things are about to get hairy in this here parking lot because I'm right down the road from the high school at my bank. Um, and the water is right behind me. I've filmed that before. There's a bridge over there and water along the waterfront in my town. So I've got school buses all lining up to get out, so I need to go to the next appointment and the grocery store and uh, Joanne's Fabrics and I've got a whole list that I need to do. So off we go. Hi, I'm home. What a trip. What a trip. I think that's the camera. Anyway, my car would not start. I couldn't get the steering wheel to move at all. And the key wouldn't turn in it at all. It locked up like, like it just said, nope, you know, and I've never had that happen. And so anyway, I called two people. I called one of my sons who I knew was around and I called my, I didn't call my husband, I texted him because he's on a boat somewhere. I said to my son, get here and um, I'm gonna call AAA and don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. Don't bring your truck, I don't wanna drive in that. <laughs> He's, he's got a work truck and it's high and I said we're not gonna get me up in it <laughs> bring your father's little truck so he said all right I'll be there in a little bit I texted my husband like I said just like telling him here's the deal I'm gonna call AAA and we're gonna park it until you get home and uh, he texted right back and said with one hand gently turn the steering wheel with the other hand gently start the car and it did. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so glad I didn't call AAA. I'd have felt bad, real bad. I probably would have just left. No, you can't do that. They already have your information. Anyway, by the time I had done that, I'd already had trouble at the bank. I looked through my purse for my deposit slips. They were nowhere. Could not find them. I know I have them. I just didn't know where. I must have not put any in my purse, whatever. So... Let me tell you this. I um, went to my bank instead. I went to my husband's bank instead. I was at my bank. I went to my husband's bank instead and drew out cash so I could just give him cash instead of a check. Deposit slips and check. Anyway, I did all of that. The bank was swarmed. There's bank problems everywhere, I guess, but there was a mutiny in there. <laughs> there was like three people working. The windows weren't open again, and... Um, the people in line, there were seven or eight of us, were having at it. I'm going to a credit union from now on. This is ridiculous. What kind of deal is this? <laughs> Misery loves company, right? I hope I'm looking at the camera. So, in the end, I got what I needed, went back to my bank, went to pay like I, you know, wanted to pay my credit card at my bank. My, I, I'm retired, so my husband pays my bills anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, um... As I'm reaching in there to get my stuff out, there's what I was looking for in the first place. So then I go, all right, I'm going to stop at Joanne's Fabrics and um, just, you know, go ahead and have some fun. And that's where my car died when I came out of there. I thought it's just, you know, the cherry on top of the day. But then, blessings, blessings, <laughs> it started. And um, then I went to... St. Vincent de Paul. Let me show you that right now. All right, here's what I got at St. Vincent de Paul. It's not a lot, but um, I think I spent under, I know I spent under $20, probably under $15. Um, so this was $5, and it's a bigger purse than I have, and I am tired of not being able to find what I need, like my, <laughs> my um, deposit slips and checks that I needed. I'm going to blame it on the, uh, the purse, okay? Five bucks. See these uh, zippers here? They just both zip down for the front pocket. So you can just bring it on down. Or you can lock it up. I had some jeans like this in high school. We called them drive-in pants. I don't know why. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to go to the drive-in when I was a teenager. <laughs> they called it the passion pit. Um, this was 25 cents. I'm going to wash it out real good and put something in it. And this was a dollar, but I thought I liked it enough that I'd go ahead and get it. This was 75 cents. I'm going to start collecting my own little herb tea tools, you know, 
for my herb garden. So there's that. What? I thought it said 75 cents. It says a dollar on here. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I had a cough. Um, oh, well, a dollar's fine. It's from the Seed and Sprout Plant Your Happy Company. And then I got this. I was looking for hymnals and Bibles. There were no Bibles. It belonged to Mild Mildred Juanita Martz. Doesn't that just sound like somebody's grandma? <laughs> Doesn't smell like cigarettes. <laughs> I guess she wasn't smoking at church. Sometimes you get that stuff at the thrift store, you know, and if you don't smoke, you can smell it. The reason I got this is I needed it for crafting, believe it or not. And then I got, for 25 cents, the New York cookbook. Barbara Block and Susan David and it just looked like fun. New York cookbook. My mama's people are from upstate New York. Ilian. Whoops, what was that? It looked like somebody put a... I'll have to look at it later. Anyway, I'm going to look at that later when I have time. I haven't even... It's already... It's 5.15. I've gone most of the day. My poor doggies thought I didn't love them anymore. Do you... um? I think there's a magazine called Something in Remembrances. Anyway, this is St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church in Monroe, Oregon, and it's their, their recipes, I believe. Yeah, these are the best, you know, because people will send in their family favorites, and I just love it. Now, what I've started doing is I buy these little cookbooks, and if I see a bunch of stuff I like in them, I'll keep them. If I see just a few things I like in them, I will copy, you know, like write down what it says, and then I will put my initials on the front, and I'll donate it back. The reason I put my initials on the front and put it back is because I will rebuy it accidentally. $1.75 I paid for this. What's it come to? Then we've got Country Friends Collection, 25 cents. Book number 27 in this series. I've always liked this um, group, uh, Gooseberry Patch. I actually have some other cookbooks from them that I didn't buy at Goodwill. or I was at St. Vincent, not Goodwill. Um, anyway, funny they should mention macaroni and cheese. That's going in the oven in a little bit, but it's not homemade because I was like, uh, <laughs> what about dinner? <laughs> I can't believe I got this. A dollar twenty-five. It was less than this thing, and it's spot on for the season. Holiday eggs and things to do with them, I guess. And what do we have here? Let's see. No yolks. Oh, I love stuff like this. No yolks company. I buy their noodles sometimes. Looks like they might just uh, have recipes. Yep. Sometimes you find coupons in these. A lot of times those are no expression date. So, oh, what fun. Lots of art, lots of recipes. I can't wait to play with this. I might even keep this one if it's got good stuff in it. And then Ideals. Now, there is a magazine called Ideals, and it's really a vintage thing. Uh, my mother used to have copies and copies of it, and it would come out maybe, I don't think it was monthly. I think it was seasonal, like every three months. And um, it would have songs, crafts, children's stories, adults' stories. This one is homemade cookies. I can already say I'd eat that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but <laughs> meringues and, oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be another fun one. I always have this dream that one day I'm going to be flipping through here and find something valuable like hundreds of dollars. Would you give it back? I would if it was St. Vincent's, but I don't know about Goodwill. <laughs> Shame on me. Okay, that's it for my haul at um, St. Vincent de Paul. Now, I went to, like I said, um, I went to Joanne's. Let me show you what I got there. I bought this here bag. You could lose it on my table. It's kind of the same busy design. <laughs> 
Hey, if you're still here and still watching and you've not subscribed, I would love to meet you and have you subscribe. There's a bell icon in the right upper right hand corner. If you click on that, you'll, um, you know, have become somebody that gets a notice when I put up a video. I guess that's how it works. And you can also like and subscribe anytime you want and chat, chat. I love to chat. Please say anything you like anytime. We'll chat. <laughs> so I got two pieces of just cardstock. I got one in purple and one in kind of a golden. And it's also for um, an art project. As if. Oh, and they were like 49 cents a piece. These, I don't know why, but they were 90% off. I'll tell you what, that Joann's Fabrics, um, everything is, not everything, but a lot of stuff is really marked down and or missing completely. I really think they're getting ready to phase out the, the in shopping, in store shopping. I'm gonna have to unwrap this, I'll show you. All right, these two things are kind of random. This was four dollars and ninety-five cents, I think. Just an enamel pin, and I thought it was so pretty. It sparkles, you know. Anyway, I like to dollop a jean jacket that I wear. And then there's this uh, tomato pin cushion. And it was the only thing that I thought that the kid that want the can is already empty of cookies in the bedroom. He wanted one of those cookie tins for a sewing kit. Well, here's a needle thing. I, I thought I'd get him things, you know, every so often that go with it. Now you have to tell me, because I don't buy these regular, but these are on clearance for, come on baby. Boy, my camera's having trouble. Here, $1.47 a piece. I got them in uh, St. Patrick's Day colors. What do you think? <laughs> I'll put them with my craft stuff. And then, let's see. One cute chick. Yeah? <laughs> it's a new coffee mug or tea mug, or cocoa mug, and it was 60% off of $12.99, I think. I'm going to have to look at my receipt. So it's bright and cheery and spring-like, I thought. <laughs> These were pretty cheap. And I put them in the pastry box, so like, you know, get your pastry, don't use your fingers, boys. <laughs> And these are the last two things I got there. They are, this one is a, never heard of it before, but 545 pieces. Bo, <coughs> sorry. Bow Bunny Brighton card making kit. I'm not great at making cards, but maybe if I have a kit, I can figure it out. Because I do love to send cards. And then of course I had to get some washi tape Awfully nice, wonderful, marvelous <laughs> butterflies and paisley and roses. What is that? I don't know, words. Oh, and some sparkly. Yeah, I didn't even see that. So there's that. That's what I got at St. Joanne's Fabrics. And I went to the grocery store, like I said, to get dinner. I'll show you that now. I'll show you what I got besides the macaroni and cheese first. I got, because they were buy one, get one free, I got two bags of halos, and I'm just going to have to tell the guys, you know, let's eat these up, okay, because I can't do it by myself. <laughs> Looks like an orange, um, you know, <laughs> an orange trip today, but I needed carrots, and I didn't need two sumos. They were expensive. I think they're $2.99 each. But, um, you know... They're good for you. <laughs> I needed eggs, and so I got a dozen large eggs. I didn't need Pop-Tarts, but the kids were talking about how much they don't like unfrosted Pop-Tarts, and I was thinking to myself, is that right? Don't like them, huh? <laughs> Have at them. Now, there's, you know what I mean by that. They're for my husband and I. Golden Greek pepperoncini in, is it going to focus? Medium heat. And I got some jalapenos for a recipe. I'm going to insert right here 
I, I had planned to get berries. I wanted strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Let me show you how much the strawberries were. No strawberries for me. Okay, so this is what I was what I got, and I've never seen it before, and I've never had it before. But Tillamook is a local to Oregon. We're in Washington State. Um, you know. <sighs> company. They do dairy. They do cheeses, ice creams, uh, butter, milk, yogurt, and anything that they sell is wonderful. And so I caught a, a glimpse of sharp cheddar and uncured bacon, so I got two because they're kind of small. They sell that they um, serve two and a half each on the serving on the back. So I'm going to, uh, it says to take the plastic part off if you're going to make it in the stove rather than the microwave. So you can see down in here, there's like cheese sauce underneath and some cheese on the top. But I have some leftover cheese right here that I'm going to throw on it and a little bit of mozzarella because there's just never enough cheese in this life. That's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to serve it with two bags of broccoli. My oven is preheating to 425. Right now it's at 310. So, oh, and have to cover it with foil because you take the plastic off and it needs to not dry out, I guess. And I think I said you only have to cook it for like 45 minutes, which is a lot better than the brand I usually get, which you have to cook for about 75 minutes, I think. I can't remember the name of the brand I get. Is it, I want to say Marie Callender's, but maybe not. Anyway, that's it. I had the time of my life. I just I need to get out more, I'm telling you. This is the first time I've been out by myself in over a month. You know, I've taken a ride with my daughter uh, uh, once. <laughs> I don't remember. I just order things in. I don't have to go anywhere, and it, and it gets old. Anyway, if you still have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to do that, and I will show you a picture in the end of what this looks like when it's all cooked up. Take care, everybody. Bye.